Hi, welcome to Bald Headed Ho, a series where I review wigs so you can judge if it's a quality wig or a costume rig. Blech. Today's wig is 21 Tress. It's 100% Malaysian hair, hu wait, Malaysian human hair quality. And the name of the wig is H Eve. So that's the name of this wig. It's called H Eve in the color one, jet black. Now, as you can see, I have not opened this wig yet, so I don't know what it, um, what it entails inside, but this wig is 30 inches long from the website. I got it from, where did I get it from? Hair Stop Shop, I got it from Hair Stop Shop. And Hair Stop Shop said that this wig was 30 inches long, so I'm gonna open this wig, wear it, and then come back and give you a year review. So, okay. Um, finna go to the future now. Let's, let's see what the wig looks like in the future. Okay, everybody. So this is it. The 21 Tress Wig H Eve in the color 1. Jet black. Let me give you the rundown. This wig comes with one comb in the front. Not too long, not too short, just one comb. So I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, as promised, this is the comb. It's uh, very short and it's in the front. You can see the bangs. It's very short. So, uh, I can't really promise any security with people who have hair. And this is the hair that's in the back for if you wanted to pull up a ponytail, the short amount of hair. Can you see how short that is? See that? That's um, if you want to pull your hair up in a ponytail, you can leave this down and it'll cover up the nape of your neck, cover that kitchen. Yeah, girl, cover up that kitchen. Did you see it? Good. Okay, let's move on. This wig also comes with adjustable straps, as every wig should, which surprisingly, not every wig comes with adjustable straps. I know that sounds strange, but I have one wig, well, actually I actually have like two wigs that are like, like one, one's a, a cheap cosplay wig that's more of a costume quality wig and another is a cosplay air flow wig that has no adjustable straps so trust me some wigs do not come with adjustable straps Ugh. the wig feels snug on the tightest setting yet the cap is still stretchy it's a very stretchable cap so if you have a big head or if you're a, you're a hair having hoe then you should have no trouble wearing this wig if you just want to change up your style, you know, because you have hair, but you don't want to like, you know, I don't know, maybe it's too short and you want to grow it out, but you, um, which, I, I don't know, just any reason why you'd want to um, change, change up your style and have like a, 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 a wig on, the, the, this would be perfect if you want a long wig and you, have, and you have hair because the cap is super stretchy. Okay, this wig um, has a very good density, yet it's still breathable. To a ball head hose scap, so you won't get all sweaty and stuff underneath. Ugh, think about that. You'd just be just be slipping and sliding everywhere. You would be slipping and sliding everywhere. No adjustable strap would help that, and it'd be all musty and stuff. And you have to wash it, and it probably won't be the same after you wash and everything. It'd just be awful. Ugh. This wig, surprisingly, even though it's synthetic, and they tried to trick us by saying 100% human, 100% Malaysian hair, but it's it, it's fake. This isn't real hair. I see your game. I see how you worded it on the package, girl. I was tricked. I looked again. I was like, yeah, you, you, you're not real hair. But this hair could be heated up to 400 degrees, which is really good, in, in my opinion. Like that, that, that can like make a corn dog turn completely black. Like just sear it. So that's that, that's really good. It also says on the package that. The hair has vitamin E and organic olive oil in the hair, which is it was weird. I guess that's why it's so super shiny. It's, it's so super shiny and it's really long. It's 30 inches. I swear to God, it's 30 inches. That's what the site said. Measured it. It was 30 inches. It, it's so long. It's very good for tall people. This, this wig is really good for tall people. And for that whole tangle free mess, they lied. They lied. You can't run your fingers through it without getting it tangled. You cannot. You cannot run your fingers through this wig without getting it tangled. They lied. And my God, does it shed. It sheds worse than a $10 wig from eBay. And they, and they don't even shed. Those wigs don't even shed. But on the brighter note, the hair is layered. It's cut in layers. Ah, it's cut in layers. And in the back, 
it has some short hair so that you can pull it up into a ponytail and it'll look super natural, look super real on you. You know, if you're a bald head at home, you don't have like hair back there. Or if your hair is a different color or something like that. Or if your hair is like nappy in the back of the kitchen, then don't worry, they got you covered. They got the um they got the kitchen like all laid and stuff. <laughs> Clearly I'm joking. Ain't nothing wrong with a nappy kitchen. I paid thirty dollars and ninety-five uh cents for this wig. And I personally feel like it should have been less because it sheds like my alopecia girl. You see this brush? This, this is a, a cheap brush that I have. I also have another brush that's a little more expensive, a $20 brush that my mom gave me as a, as a present, which was really nice. This had so much hair in it that it, it was ridiculous. Like that it made me question why this wig was $30. Now, let me show you how long this wig is. You haven't seen the length of it yet. That's how long the wig is. The wig is super long. It is so long. It is 30 inches. That's 30 inches worth of hair right there. Yeah, boy, yeah. And the bangs are nice and full. The bangs are super full. It's, um, it's, it's really thick. I can imagine maybe it getting sweaty or something. And if you wanted to, you could probably make a obtuse bang with this. Well, okay, now that I'm moving the hair, I'm noticing that it's not really too much possible to make an obtuse bang. Oh, well, here we go. That's, that's, that's a little obtuse. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to make an obtuse bang with this because the, the, um, the bangs are so thick. It's those thick china bangs. And I've been looking for a wig that has um, straight blunt bangs, so I'm not disappointed. I have plenty of wigs that have obtuse bangs. So yeah, if you want a, a really thick china bang, then you should get this wig. Now, let's look at the sides. This is the right side of the wig. And as you can see, there is a, um, there, there's a, a shorter length hair from here down to here. So that lets you, that shows you that it's layered. Uh, I'm, I'm very far back because this wig is super long. My camera can't capture it because it's such a, a small lens. I, I can't I can't capture how long this hair is. You just have to see it, see it for yourself. Like if you bought this, you would not be disappointed in style. Quality. If you're a quality over quantity person, you'll be very upset. But if you don't expect much like me when it comes to wigs and hair, you 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 you'll be you'll be fine. You'll you'll be fine. You'll, you'll like it. So this is the first, so this is the right side. And let me show you the left side. Okay, this is the left side of the wig. And as you can see, what's visible now is about two layers. Um, unless you want to count this little, little uh, small layer up here as one layer. So this, um, let's just count this as one. Okay, one layer, two layer, and then it, and the layers just go down. It just goes, the layers go all throughout the wig making it um, very natural, a very natural cut. This is the back of the wig. It's super shiny because of the oils that they put in here and the vitamin E. So it's super shiny plus it's a, a jet black. So it's gonna be very, very shiny. I'm not sure about the other colors. I think I'll get um, another one in 3505, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's another color that I, I thought about getting. It's very beautiful. Now let's zoom back so you can see the wig in its fullness. I just wanted to show you the shine, but let's see, let's see the back of the wig, how long it is. Let's just see. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zoom out now. Okay, yeah, that is some long hair. You ain't gonna slay. You're gonna divide and conquer with this wig. Well, to be honest, what you'll mostly accomplish is getting your hair and peel other people's drinks or something and making them irritated because it sheds a lot. Yeah, just don't be around food or drinks. I tried to brush it out as best I could without snagging and ripping it out and this and that. I, I, I'm not even gonna lie, there's not even much hair in this brush when I brushed it out just to show you guys the, the back of the hair. Okay, now that I've shown you every side of this wig and given you the general rundown of what this wig has to offer, let's style it. It is styled now. Looking at this hairstyle reminds me of Lisa Left Eye. I, I don't know why. Poor Left Eye, you'll be missed. We don't really know what happened to you. We saw that tape where it, it, it kind of like, to me personally, it kind of like looked like you swerved, but I don't really know what happened. Yeah, you, you will be missed, Left Eye. You will be missed. 
But anyway, doesn't this hairstyle look like something that Lisa Left Eye would wear in like the 90s and stuff like that? No, like the early 2000s. Cause yeah, yeah, she 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 was she was so do this. This right here, these two um buns, I got these from eBay. They're maybe like five bucks a piece, but it's it was so worth it. And I and I was trying to find a wig that was jet black with china bangs that would match the uh the color of this. I knew if I get a one, I would match it because this looked like a a jet black. So what I did here was I added some braids. With a with a red tie on both sides, and I left some hair out a little bit here, little bit of hair out here, which I feel like I left out too much hair on this side. This could have went easily went into the ponytail. I left out too much on this side, but well, I still, I think it's beautiful still. This wig is so long you have to like come back like real far just to see the whole thing, and you still can't see the whole thing. That's the that's the end of the wig right there. Now let me show you the back. Okay, notice how the hair is still super thick, even um, even though I split it into two sections for ponytails. Normally, the, the wig cap would show. I have to like literally lift and try to peel for under here, like like a nosy person to to see the the scap part of the mannequin. So you can this this wig is very versatile in style. You could probably put it in multiple ponytails if you wanted to. Uh, the wefts might get in the way. I'm not really sure. Are they called the wefts? I, I don't know. Like the hairnet? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it. Well, w wigs are limited, but yeah, I know bald head hoes. It's, it's it's a struggle. Wigs are limited, unless you have like a whole bunch of money to get like a full lace or something like that. But either way, this is this is a pretty good wig for thirty dollars, but. It may seem easy like when I styled this, but it was a it was an uphill battle to style this. It was so hard styling this, okay? I, I did so much hair shed from this brush just from just for me trying to keep this did this braid straight and to to, to braid it. So much hair shed from this. So remember, it sheds like alopecia. I have to tell you that it sheds. It sheds so hard. You do you have some tools? Yeah, cause you know it, this sheds so much to get it to shed. Okay, no, no. Okay, I'll stop. Right. All right, all right. I, I should probably end the video now. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, even though I don't update as frequently. And if you're a newcomer, thank you so much for clicking on this um, video and watching the review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I was helpful. Power to the ball-headed whole nation.